Eight Shoes Mystery. Lowly said he'd meet us here? Yep. He said he needed to get his shoe fixed. <gasps> oh, look at this, Uncle. Huh. It says there's going to be a big dance recital tonight, starring Orlando Octopus and lots of other dancers. Dancing with two feet is hard enough. Imagine dancing with eight. Yeah. Loli said he'd be here. I wonder where he is. Ugh. <laughs> it's Loli. Hi, Sally. Hi, Hucko. <laughs> Hi, Loli. Nice one. You really fooled me that time. Thanks, Hucko. I thought it was a beautiful disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Loli. Yay! Ah, thanks, Sam. Uh, you don't look very happy. What's wrong? Well, Loli, I've got a problem. I found this bag at my door this morning. It's got eight shoes inside, and this note was attached. It says, urgent. Please shine these shoes right away and deliver them by tonight. Thank you. So what's the problem, Sam? Well, I've shined them all, but the note wasn't signed. So I don't know who to deliver them to. Hmm. You have shoes you need to deliver, but you don't know where to deliver them. That sounds to me like... A mystery! We can help you solve it, can't we? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <gasps> Busy Town Action Bug News! Gold Bug here at Sam's Shoe Repair with a fast-breaking news flash. What's the buzz in Busy Town, Huckle? Sam doesn't know who these shoes belong to. We're going to find out and solve the eight shoes mystery. Ready for it? Here goes! Huckle and the gang solve this mystery? I'm sure they will. <laughs> Get it? Sure? Goldbug out! <laughs> <laughs> we'll solve the shoe mystery and deliver these for you, Sam. Come on, let's take a look at these shoes. Thanks, kids. Good luck. Bye! What do you need all these shoes for? We've got a mystery to solve. We need to figure out who these shoes belong to. Oh, goody, a mystery. I can help. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These shoes have eight owners. No, they don't. Yes, they do. One shoe each makes eight owners. I don't think so, Pigwill. Most people wear two shoes, not just one. Loli only wears one shoe. That's right. But I'm the only one in Busy Town who wears one shoe. And these shoes are way too big to belong to me. Right. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four pairs of shoes. These shoes have four owners. Huh. Four owners who all wear the exact same shoes? Why would they all wear the same shoes? Hmm, maybe they belong to a sports team. That's a great idea, Sally. Let's go look around for sports teams who are missing their shoes. Let's get busy, Tim.
tennis racket. I'm an expert at tennis. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. Watch. <gasps> Oops. Excuse me, lions. Are these your shoes? Nope. Those aren't ours. <gasps> oh, I'm an expert at soccer. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. Watch. <gasps> Oops. Hooray! Hooray! Hi there. Do these shoes belong to you? No, but we could use this one for our team bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these shoes wouldn't be very good for basketball anyway. Sure they would. I'll show you. I'm an expert at basketball. No, you aren't. <laughs> yes, I am. Watch. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> These shoes are noisy. Hmm. They've got metal on the bottom. I wonder what that's for. Why would anyone want to make that much noise walking around? Crazy, man. <gasps> hey, that sounds good. Those shoes make music. Wait, I know why those shoes have metal on the bottom. They're tap shoes. Of course. Right. <laughs> Tap shoes? For tap dancing. Tap dancing is when you dance and make tippy tappy sounds in time to the music. Like this. So the shoes don't belong to a sports team. They belong to four tap dancers. Four tap dancers who need those shoes by tonight. Maybe they need them for a dance lesson. Maybe. <gasps> Or maybe they need them because they're dancing in the recital tonight. Good thinking, Sally. I bet you're right. To the Busy Town Theater. <laughs> okay, remember, we're looking for four dancers. Eight feet means four dancers. Excuse me, are these your shoes? No. Pardon me, but are these your shoes? No! No luck, Huckle. Well, I don't get it. We asked all the groups of dancers here, but the shoes don't belong to any of them. Who else would need eight shoes? Oh, <gasps> I know whose shoes these are. Goldbug here at the Busy Town Theater, where I think Huckle is about to shoo us the answer to the eight shoes mystery. What's the scoop, Huckle? Here's what I think happened. These tap dancing shoes were left at Sam's. Not by four dancers with two feet but by one dancer with eight feet. Orlando Octopus. Of course, that makes sense. You did it, Hucko. Mystery solved. Everybody all together solve the mystery with Hucko. You can solve one, two. Nice work, but you'd better get those shoes to Orlando right away. He's already on the stage. Oh dear, oh dear. What am I going to do without my shoes? Are you looking for these, Orlando? My shoes? Thank you, just in time. Can you help me put them on? Don't worry, I'll entertain the audience. I'm an expert dancer. No, you're not! 
Hi! <laughs> a one and a two and a... <laughs> Thanks, Big Will, but I think I'll take over now. That something, Pig Will. What? Falling down! Yes, I am! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Something in the Woods Mystery. Ranger Wendy before we set up camp. Good idea, Loli. Hi! Hi there! Hi there. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Maybe we should stick around and help you paste up this wallpaper, Ranger Wendy. <laughs> stick around. I get it. Paste is sticky. Stick around. Good one, Huckle. <laughs> That is a good one, Huckle. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Now, don't worry. I can handle this on my own. Ew! Ew! That paste smells awful. Careful, kids. It's super sticky wallpaper paste. You don't want to get any on you. Go set up your camp, and I'll come by and check on you during my rounds. Okay. We'll see you later. We'll be able to see when it gets dark. Hey, where Pig will and Pig won't? They're late. <laughs> As always. I bet they'll be here any minute. Why do you say that, Lily? Because they always get here after all the work is done. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Huckle and the others have put the tent up yet? Uh, maybe we should wait a little bit longer to give them more time to finish. <laughs> What's going on? There's a monster in the woods! No, it's not a monster. It's a creature. But it was waving its arms around like a monster. But it was making strange sounds, more like a creature. <laughs> monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Are you sure it wasn't just your imagination? No! It was real! We both saw it and heard it! Hmm. I'm not sure what you saw or heard, but I am sure of three things. One, it wasn't a monster. Two, it wasn't a creature. And three, we have a mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Bug News! Dog Bug here, checking out the buzz at the Busy Town Campgrounds. What's up, Huckle? Any mysteries out here with you campers? Well, Gold Bug, Big Will and Big Won't saw something strange and scary in the woods. Ugh. And I'm going to figure out just what that strange and scary something really is. Well, get ready for it. Here goes!
So stay tuned, folks, for important updates as Huckle checks the campgrounds for clues to solve the something in the woods mystery. Goldbug, out! The first thing we should do is ask Ranger Wendy. Maybe she knows what the mystery something is. Wait a second. Ranger Wendy said she was going to check on us during her rounds. She should have been here by now. You're right, Sally. I wonder why she didn't come by. Because the monster chased her off! You mean the creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Oh, whatever. Come on, let's go look for Ranger Wendy. Ranger Wendy, are you here? She's not here. And look at that mess. What happened? Do you think the monster got her? No, I think the creature got her. Watch where you're stepping. Ew! <gasps> That's super sticky wallpaper paste. You don't want to get any on you. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Ranger Wendy's not here, so she can't help us figure out what the scary something is. We'll just have to find more clues ourselves. Come on, let's go look. <gasps> Monster! Creature! Huh? Nothing to be scared of, guys. See? It's just a tree and a couple of fireflies. Maybe this is what you saw in the forest. No, what we saw was waving its arms around. And making strange sounds. Hmm. Okay, then. Show us where you saw the... whatever it was. But... but what if it's... Still there! Then we'll know what it is and the mystery will be solved. Let's go! Mm -hmm. Look, our backpacks! So this is where we saw the monster! Up there! You mean where we saw the creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Come on! Let's go check for clues! We'll stay here and, uh... uh... Guard our stuff in case it comes back! It's back! <laughs> the monster was right here! You mean the creature! Where is it now? I don't know. We screamed, it screamed, we ran away, it ran away. Hmm, that's strange. It doesn't sound like much of a monster or a creature if you two scared it away. Well, we are pretty good screamers, you know. Do you want to hear us? <gasps> no! We, we already, already heard, heard you two! two. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look. What's this white stuff? <gasps> Obviously monster slime! Creature goo! Well, if it did come from the monster or creature, it's a clue. But I don't think anyone should touch it. Hey! This stuff is sticky! Uh-oh! Look! There's more goo over here. And over there, too! Try washing it off with the creek water. It looks like whatever it is was stumbling around. And running into the trees, breaking the branches. Hmm. It must have been moving around like this. It's like it couldn't see. Look! The creek water washed the monster slime off. Creature goo! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Huckle, look at this. Hmm. This looks like the wallpaper Ranger Wendy was putting up. Ew, what's that awful smell? It's 
this goo, Lily? I think I've smelled this somewhere before. <laughs> You're right, Huckle. Me too. But where? I know. This goo smells just like the super sticky paste Ranger Wendy was using to put up her wallpaper. But how did Wendy's wallpaper paste get on these trees? Maybe the monster rubbed it on the trees when it bumped into them. But what's a monster or a creature or whatever it is doing with wallpaper paste all over it? Hmm. <gasps> ah! I think I know who the monster or creature really is. So, Huckle, have you found clues in the campgrounds and solved the something in the woods mystery? I think so, Goldbug. I think the something in the woods is really Ranger Wendy. Ranger, Ranger Wendy? Wendy? That's right. Here's what I think happened. I think Ranger Wendy fell off her stepladder, spilled super sticky paste on herself, and got all wrapped up in the wallpaper. She couldn't see where she was going and bumped into the trees. That's how the paste got on them. You're absolutely right, Huckle. I couldn't see and I couldn't talk because my eyes were wallpapered, my mouth was wallpapered, all of me was wallpapered. You did it, Huckle! Mystery solved! Everybody all together solved a mystery.